Now let's look at subtracting a rational expression with a different denominator. You may recall, if there is subtraction in the problem, we must distribute that negative through the entire numerator. As we do, the expression is now 2x plus 7 over x squared minus 2x minus 3. Now it's plus, after we distribute the negative, to get negative 3x plus 2, changing the signs, over the x squared plus 6x plus 5. Now we're ready to find a common denominator and add these together. To do so, we must first factor each denominator. The first denominator, using the AC method, we must multiply to negative 3 and add to negative 2. This is negative 3 and positive 1. We have x minus 3 times x plus 1. The second denominator, we're multiplying to AC, or 5, and adding to 6. This is done with 5 and 1. We have x plus 5 times x plus 1. We can see that for our least common denominator, we need an x minus 3, an x plus 1, an x plus 5, and we already have the x plus 1, so there will be no need to list it twice. In order to get our common denominator, we will multiply by any missing factors. Notice the first denominator is missing the factor x plus 5. We will multiply by x plus 5 on both numerator and denominator. It will be helpful to remember we're multiplying the x plus 5 by the entire numerator, and so we must put it in parentheses. This is going to require us to FOIL and multiply out. x times 2x is 2x squared. x times 7 is 7x. 5 times 2x is 10x. And 5 times 7 is 35. Over our common denominator, x plus 5, x minus 3, x plus 1. Plus, our second denominator is missing the factor x minus 3. So we will multiply the numerator and denominator by that missing factor. Again, we will need to put it in parentheses so we can FOIL to get negative 3x squared minus 9x, oh, plus 9x, negative times a negative, plus 2x minus 6 over our common denominator, x plus 5, x plus 1, x pl minus 3. The order of the factors doesn't matter, so we can combine like terms in the numerator now that we have a common denominator. 2x squared minus 3x squared is negative x squared. 7x plus 10x plus 9x plus 2x is 28x. 35 minus 6 is plus 29 over the common denominator, x plus 5, x minus 3, x plus 1. Before we say that's our final solution, we will want to factor to see if it can reduce. To make the factoring easier, as a result of the negative in front of x squared, Let's divide out a negative 1 GCF, which will give us x squared plus 28x, whoops, minus 28x, minus 29 over the common denominator. Now, using the AC method, multiplying to negative 29, adding to negative 28, is negative 29 and 1. So we have negative 1 times x minus 29 times x plus 1 over the common denominator, x plus 5, x minus 3, x plus 1, and sure enough, we can reduce out the x plus 1 to get our final answer, negative 1 times x minus 29 over x plus 5 times x minus 3, and we have subtracted the polynomials by first distributing the negative.